got no bloody sympathy for all you Stones luminous as if they were cast from light. See in Star Moon like he filled him. These stones splinter from a past. Or half forgotten.
shouldn't see me. You shouldn't hear me. It's a clean kill. And none of them is going to go to waste. It's your name, Ranger. Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a growl? That Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. You must prepare! I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. The hunt is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. The cargoes, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargoes. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid the good cleaning, eh? The hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag, like my wife. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? Wouldn't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, or eat dirt. About the same time it took me to take one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. 
Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. Let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it will fight for you. Thinks it could just moved. Holy Wolf is cutting orcs! Great way to unwind! But I can take down more than you, Even the fiercest beast can be used for good. You've been hunting and learning for long, Dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a space to the hunt. What's that? Sure you can ride a carriage, but can you shoot from one? You take him up high! Leave the Grand Dogs to me! The world was young, the mountains green. He drank from yet untasted wells. His stupidity so much freedom. Quality over quantity. <laughs> That fire better not set my beard to light. to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they toss me to the rocks below. Orc hunting party! Let's hunt them Seems I lost track. Lucky you! Too quiet. 
Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. You'll make a nice meal, Dwarf! Torven needs help. Managed to kill the hammer. Just so you know, I had him. What does riding Karagors have to do with killing Graugs? All these questions, Captain. Not you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Underrespect the beast. You don't need size and strength to fight the mighty Graug. Remember, hunt. Respect the turn. Who knows? It'll even call you sir, eh? <laughs> <laughs> This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters? <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crobane to prepare us for the mighty Graug? You want to hunt Graug? Then so you shall. But not just any Graug. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain. You ever slay a Graug before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. A 
I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Step two, Captain. The blood will attract Caragors. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the ground. Scared to chase you? I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride. I need a Caragor for speed. Sounds easy enough. Right on, Captain! Hear you! I've slain bigger crowds when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long! And three! Shoot it in the head! Instinct, gumption, respect, 
<laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them.